Thank you, California Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff, who you saw briefly among his report, serves on the Judiciary Committee and is a former member of the Select Committee on January 6th. He's more than qualified to speak to allegations about the FBI's role on that day. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but it is, I mean, it still just strikes me as bizarre that so many House Republicans keep pushing a debunked claim that the FBI played a role in facilitating the events on January 6th. Uh, it is crazy, and they know better, and they continue to push all of these conspiracy theories. Uh, we heard today, as Jim Jordan, Matt Gates, and others tried to suggest that the Justice Department or the president was behind the Manhattan DA's prosecution, uh, they understand how the court system works. They know that the federal system is completely separate and distinct from a local prosecutor's office like that in Manhattan. Uh, you know, Matt Gates, for for his own part has all too much experience in the criminal justice system being the subject of a sex trafficking case. So they understand how the system works, but they wish to mislead the public. They want to somehow obscure the fact that they're about to be nominee is now a convicted felon, and they're willing to tear down the justice system uh, and do whatever is necessary in the service of that deeply flawed human being. You said that in the hearing. That's what you think is at the heart of this, that that they're freaked out uh, essentially over Trump's conviction and are trying to figure out how to deal with it. Uh, absolutely. And, you know, not just in committee, but so many of them. In fact, uh, when they were holding Merrick Garland in contempt a couple of weeks ago, they had many members absent, some of which were absent because they were in Manhattan standing outside the courthouse, essentially uh, paying fealty once again to Donald Trump. Uh, they hope to avert uh, a conviction now that there are multiple, multiple convictions. Uh, they're just tearing everything down and doing such enormous damage. Uh, you know, one of the questions I didn't have a chance to ask Merrick Garland today is, you know, what's the effect in courthouses around the country? Undoubtedly, and I've heard this from prosecutors, you have defendants making the Trumpian argument that their prosecutions are a witch hunt, they're a hoax, they're a sham, attacking the FBI in the same language that Donald Trump and his enablers on the committee are using. And this is really undermining the rule of law everywhere. The, the level of dysfunction in these hearings, I mean, I, we've seen, you know, look, for, you know, for a long time, we've seen in hearings like this, politicians on all sides of the aisle, grandstanding, you know, playing for cameras and stuff like that. But just in your experience, how does it compare now to what you have seen or we've all seen in the past? Well, it is just a, a whole nother order of magnitude of deterioration. Uh, you know, in the past, you would have kind of a one-off member here or there uh, who said stuff that was just plain crazy. Uh, now it is just routine. And there is this, I think, pernicious competition among members in the GOP, both as to who can essentially uh, kiss uh, Donald Trump's brass ring uh, more demonstrably than the other, or just say the most extreme things. It's become a venue for really a, a form of vile performance art. Uh, and, uh, you know, it won't, it won't continue this way indefinitely, I think, when Trump leaves the stage for good, which I hope will be in November, uh, I think the temperature comes down. But nevertheless, we're seeing what people are really made of. Uh, uh, Congressman Schiff, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much.